In this screencast, I'm going to take the previously created script on how to log into my software bugs website and then do a load test with more than one user. Because I don't want all my users to be the same person when I log in, I'm going to go ahead and configure JMeter to read an external data source with all my email addresses and passwords. So, if we look at my folder where my JMeter script is, I've already created a users.csv file. So I'm back in JMeter. I'm going to go ahead and add a config element called CSV dataset config. And go ahead and rename this. There's software bugs user users. Then go ahead and tell it that the file I want to use is users.csv and looking at my script you will see that I've defined the email address and the password for each of my users to log into the website. So I'll go ahead and create variables email comma right, to delimit the variable names and password. And let's go ahead and move this here. Now I'm going to go ahead down to my sampler where I actually log into my website and go ahead and replace the email address to my variable email and password. Because the sampler is at the end of my test, I really want to see if it works. So what I can do to the previous samplers is actually disable them so that JMeter will actually skip them and actually execute the samplers that I want. So let me go ahead and disable them. And I will leave the visit to the login page and logging into um, my account. Uh, let's go back to my product cart, make sure to increase the number of users to 10. And I'm going to go ahead and execute. The one thing to note is that my data set config, I've got the file set to share um, for all threads. So basically, this ensures that all my threads will actually go in to the CSV file and grab the um, the next available user. All right, let's go ahead and run the test. And let's walk this way through here. And it's now starting to log into the site. And I can see that every thread has successfully grabbed the username and password and logged into the website. So let's take a look at the request. So Melvin1, Melvin2, and so on. What's nice is I don't necessarily need to define the variables in my data set config. If I leave this blank, JMeter will actually take the first line of my CSV file and use the values there as the variable name. So let's go ahead and add them in here. And go ahead and put email and password. So now when I run the test again, I should get the exact same results. And again, note the variable names is blank, but yet my JMeter script is successful in grabbing the variable, variable names listed in my file, and using it in the script. 